Welcome back to Patterns and Models on Mr. Sean's channel. Let's play visual novel series. And welcome back to Crazy. Uh, we had a sweet time. We had a sweet date with T34. And she's a different little cutie. I love her. Um, cute, petite, short hair, pink hair. She's a doll. Uh, a little bit on the Russian side of things, but hey, you know, it can work out. So let's see what happens now. Of course, we ticked off the gunny. Apparently, we got the wrong room number. So, eh, let's move forward to class. Hi, right, Senpai. Here's my number, Erwin. Send me a text so I can add you. Uh, sure. Send her a quick. It's Erwin message. Awesome. I added you to my group chat. To our group chat. Wait. What? Oh, crap. Sherman, I don't... Great. Want to be in the... Good dang it, Sherman! Sergeant, why not give him my number? Oh, come on! Oh, come on, girl. What? You almost wanted to kiss me. You said so just almost maybe twice even, and you don't want a number. Well, screw you. You're a commie tank, recruit 34. Aren't you supposed to love sharing? All right, here, Erwin. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I promise I won't misuse it. You better not. I can touch with the phone lines. You never know who is listening in. R right. It's your recruit, Tiger. Um, Sergeant, shouldn't Erwin give me his number two? And that makes this go faster. Recruit no more. Get Tiger your number. Is there anything that he doesn't scream about? Here, Tiger. I'm at 95, 605, 2500. Yes. All right. So I guess I need your number two, Panzer Four. I'll let you handle that. Good job. I'm sure you got it right the first time. No mess ups. Get far, your phone number, not your designation. All right, here you go, everyone. Ha, great. I'll call you if I have any questions. And avoid you, most especially. Very good recruits. Very good recruits. Lamar, I expect you to be on time, prepared for everything from this moment forward. You are very lucky. I had a relaxed day yesterday. So I spare your ass just this once. However, you can find each and every one of your classmates with Ten knee bands each. Now, hey. Poor Irwin. A few hours later. Yeah, it took me a few hours. Just kidding. Oh, that man was a clear test. I'm bushed. Hi. Ah! What? Don't pop out of, no Don't pop out of nowhere like that. Irwin, I have a question for you. Sure, go ahead. Well, Tavares, you must think long and hard about this coming question. It's a matter of state security. Aha. Uh -huh. Da. Um, do not be of the worrying. I'm not worried at all at this point. I mean, seriously, girl, I'm, I'm not worried at all. So, I mean, we'll s whatever. Question is easy. In of the shelf. In of the shelf. In of the self. What? Answer. Not so much. What? Question is easy. In of in of the shelf. Answer. Not so much. Okay. Thanks for clarifying. 
Next question. Are you prepared? <laughs> All right. What did you get at question 42? I don't know where I this to. <gasps> don't withhold the information from me. Hoarding information. That's the way of the capitalist czarist pigs. They steal information from the people. Use it for their own gains. Stealing is not the Soviet way, comrade. Hi, capitalist pig over here. So, sorry. I'm not hoarding, stealing anything. I just don't remember. She has gone full Terminator. We have ways to make people remember. Ah, uh, fine. You knew? Just tell her to get her over. With. Oh my gosh, dude! No, don't be, don't be the stupid. Why am I this? Why am I this stupid? There's two layers of the stupidity, and I'm sure you can figure it out. Which I'm, what I'm talking about. One is my character, and one is me in the first place of playing this game. Why? God, what the hell? The two diver size answer is forty two. <laughs> <laughs> question 42 is the answer 42 oh my gosh i don't even know what, what was the i don't even call it what the question was st petersburg for dinner 23 apples what are these the answer is 42 obviously it is obviously 42 because <laughs> it's the question 42 of course after everything else you want to ask what is the meaning of life that's answer 42 so, St. Petersburg for dinner. Just throw three apples. I don't know. St. Petersburg. I. Uh... Well, I sort of guessed. I, maybe. I, whoa, that's probably. Oh, oh, shoot. No, wait. Maybe I should not have done that one. Maybe I should not have gotten that one. Oh, crap. Right, well. <clears throat> Have a stay, comrade. What is that? I'm going home. Fast. Finally, I'm home. Whew. Man, tomorrow's Saturday, too. Can't wait. God, I have an entire day to myself. All for... Uh, for me. Take it in. Ah! Morning. This is going to be awesome. No tanks. No gunny. No weird shit. That's always a plus. There's so many things I can accomplish. I've had those dreams too. I'm going to open the curtains and greet the day. And probably fall back asleep, not do anything, Get go back to sleep for another eight hours so I, I'm starving when I wake up. And I'm too tired to make food, so I go out to eat. Um, oh, wait, we're talking about Irwin here. Uh, sorry, wait, someone else. This is my friend, my friend. Hello, son. <sighs> what to do today? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Seriously? Oh my gosh, no. That's it. I'm calling someone. Why are you calling someone now? Uh, who do I call them? Well, clearly the right side is the bad choice today. The last people I want to call is those two. So let's call T34. Bing. Here goes nothing. Ring ring. Da, T34 speaking. Oh, T34. <laughs> Funny to hear you here. Funny to hear you here. Shit, what was that? I was just calling to ask you if you wanted to possibly, you see. Everyone, I'm very, bu very busy. This better not be a personal call. Do you want to go on a date? Went from zero to personal in a second here. 
What did I say by using this line? <laughs> so you don't want to. Tomorrow at noon is fine. Wait, what? Where are we going? The park. Don't be late. She stops the phone down, click, and the line goes dead. I can't tell if I just got myself a date or a death warrant. If he had chosen I as two, yes, he would have got a death warrant. Just saying. Well, I guess I'll see you in the morning. Uh. So. Right at the park with barely a minute to spare. That means you're late. You should arrive 15 minutes early, recruit. Further into the park, you can see 2.40 are already waiting for you. Tap on your foot impatiently. Recruit. If you're if you're there 15 minutes early, you're on time. If you're there on time, you are late. Wait, why am I at Stalingrad? How is that a street? In, is that a street sign? Hopefully, not a, a, a city sign. Because I was in Japan a moment ago. I swear I was in Japan. Now all of a sudden I'm in Stalingrad. Confused. As you approach, you smile shyly. Hey, Tina Turkori, you look really nice today. Good man. Um, thanks. Are you sure you're about this whole date thing? I've got things I need to. Of course I am. Come on, let's go. Well, all right then. Oh, I guess I'll go on a date with you. Oh. As you and Tina Turkori walk through the park together, you come upon an ice cream stand. Hey, that ice cream stand looks good. Let's get some. My treat. Sure, she smiles. Um, I'll have an ice cream mochi. Is that the one with, with the face? Yeah, Panzer Ford got me into that kawaii desu the... Again. Erwin. Stop! Stop it! Don't! Don't do this! Germans. Hmm? Nothing. I'll have a vanilla ice cream. Extra ice. Hold the. What? Hold the vanilla? Saki for hands of your ice cream at 234 her ice. You two three four sit down on the bench together and start eating. She got a little Siberia. Tell you what, huh? Why did I choose this game? I'm, I'm seriously debating my life choices here. A few minutes later. And then the guy gave this weird look and said, We ain't making no goddamn cornflakes here. We try some gear. Okay. Ha! Yeah, the guy really is something. You know, I've never seen this part of the park before. It's really beautiful. Yeah, almost as pretty as you. Okay, now you're laying it all a little thick here. Ah, what's that supposed to mean? Blush. Never mind. Well, I can't back off now. It means that, well, I think you're as beautiful as these roses. A little red kind of rose. <laughs> oh! At least he knows how to play to the audience. Oh my god. A little red communist rose. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, the storyline. Wow. This this is taking a turn. Um, thank you. As the cheeks grow ever more red. Come on. Let's keep going. Maybe we'll find something else that I hear you haven't seen before. All right. <clears throat> you and T34 continue through the park and around the bend in the path you can see a peaceful pond. Is there anything that takes the side? Is there anyone else here that could ruin this moment right here, right now? As you approach, you see the evening sun reflecting off the crystal clear blue water. You and T34 sit down in a grassy knoll near the pond's edge. So tell me more about your family, T34. I already know about S2. I asked you, what about the rest of them? What do you want to know about my family? Hmm. 
marital reasons. Uh, well, I'm interested in what your life is like. Okay, well, you've already met the craziest side. I asked too. My cousin on the other side of the family, KV2, is more balanced. She's a nice girl, but sometimes I kind of slow. Not really the quickest runner either, if you get what I mean. Anyhow, my older sister's never really mattered too much, so there's a lot of pressure on me to, to succeed. Not that I can't handle it. Those be hard for you sometimes, I can relate. Oh, well, how so? Well, my mother always told me that my great grandfather was some war hero, so I feel like I've lived up to that in some way. Try getting relegated from pride to the motherland to being the main battle tank for countries like the Congo and Somalia. Well, that'd be like being thrown off into Siberia. Wait, you're still in service? Yeah, I'm still. I still moonlight on the front when I can. With your age, I. I'm going to give you about two seconds to rephrase that. I mean, I'm impressed by how long you've been in service. Uh, better. Anyway, let's head out. It's getting late. Sure. I guess the kiss is not on the agenda. Just saying. You're 234. Continue to walk around the park and begin nearing the pathway out. As you walk, you can feel 234's hand brush against yours more than once. And again. You're supposed to grab it and again <laughs> you take her hand out of the corner of your eye you can see her smiling to herself suddenly around the next bend in the path you come to the exit oh well here's the way out yeah i guess we should get going then well there was something i was wanting first Question three, well, what is it? Well, what do you ask me to come with you? Oh, okay, it's just fun to talk to you because I really, really like you. Because you're hot. Um, well, right. She's pretty hot for a tank. This sounds really sappy. Which I don't think she would, I don't, I don't think she'd like, be into the sappy remark. Definitely, she's fun to talk to because she's fucking hilarious. <laughs> she, but uh, <clears throat> uh, what is the real choice here? I really, really like you because you're. I don't. I want to. I, I want to save. I can't save. I can't save at all. I'm screwed. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Hey. Okay, I'm gonna see if you're hot. You. I. <laughs> she said it! She said it! Yay! <laughs> she pulls her hand away. What's the big idea of being out here anyway? She's trying to make me take me for a ride? No, that's not what I... Well... God, I just want something to look at. Not just something to look at. She took out the park, muttering in Russian. Man, I'm an idiot. Aww! I mean, I was just saying she was, you know, looking, watching her tread along on the pathway. I'm sure she was getting a little hot under the collar, as you can say. I mean, I'm just, yeah, I'm an idiot. Yeah, that was a stupid choice, I suppose. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I can't say the best date I've ever been on, but it could have gone worse. Because I'll see you at school Monday. Uh, well, we'll hit the hate for now. Sit at your desk eating lunch. Oh, you know, probably this place is a guy could get used to it. Hell, the special thing is half a bad idea. Oh, that's pretty good. Suddenly, Panzer Four bursts into the room. Erwin! Why are you just sitting there alone with lunch? Uh, that's mean I'm um, just trying to eat. Erwin, you should have to be more social like me. Well, what would you have me do? I just want to eat my lunch. Erwin? It's Japan. Join a club. I'm fine. I really don't. The PS Plus board. Come on. Grabs your arm and begins marching towards the door. Uh, wait, where are, you, where are we going? The All Club Mini Silly. It's Monday. Uh, <clears throat> the All Club? 
Magic Four pulls into the room behind her, and the writers and students are already sitting around waiting for the meeting to start. Sorry, mate, everyone. Here's Erwin. He's joining the club today. Wait, no, I. Suddenly, a taller girl grabs her from behind. Oh, so you're Erwin Panzer Force, all I've been talking about. Why would she be talking about me? I, I've been trying to avoid her like the plague. What? You fire her. You pry her off your shoulders and turn around to face her. She's taller. Noticeably taller. Da, look at Panzer Four. It's blushing. Cut it off, mouse. Oh no. No, 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 no. Stop. No. Uh It's a little Panzer Four shy. No, it's I. You both know I'm right here. I am right here. Hey, man. I didn't know you were joining a club. I'm not. Woo, everyone's joining a club. Come on. Take your E. Take your E. Barbie, Charby one. You don't have a take your team anymore, Sherman. Or do you forget? We're blacklisted. Ah, uh, come on, Frenchie. No one said I had to stay on the aircraft carrier. Stay on an aircraft carrier? How would she catapult off? I mean, it's not the point. Everyone pack down. Yeah, business to discuss. Type 3 Chinu. I guess she's Chinese. Thanks, all right, boy. I, Vice President, take places around the room, grouping up by the club. <clears throat> all right, now that everyone is here, let's get this thing started. So I'm sure you all know this weekend is our school wide house spring trip. Fortunately, though, with the drainage caused by the errant Hess shell, heat shell, to a classroom 3B by Sherman. Our class treasury is 300,000 yen in the red. Ooh, that's bad. You're telling me those repairs almost cost almost $3,000? You're the one to talk, Sherman. We try watching where you shoot sometime. Hey, it's not my fault the ammo is faulty. Maybe if your comedy buddy China could get the quality control of China. <laughs> wow. Don't try to turn this around on me, Sherman. Wow. <laughs> Because clearly our ammo is built in China. I don't think so. Come on, both of you, meet me trying to talk. <clears throat> I am, as I was saying. I'm really sorry, but the trip has will have to be cancelled. Koi? Cancelled? That's fine, mon cher. That's not fair, mon cher. I mean, I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll figure it out. I, I promise I'll try. Look, this wasn't up to me. Hey, uh. Yeah, I want to go on a trip. German. I have a ladies. I have an idea. Good idea. Speak it the fastest possible. Everyone fall silent. I have an idea. <sighs> Go ahead. <clears throat> well, what if I? What if all clubs did something to raise money before this weekend? Hmm. That well. That just might work. I'd have to get the president's approval, but yeah, this could save the trip. What sort of thing could raise three thousand dollars in one week? Um, I never thought that far ahead yet. Of course not. Doesn't have to be one thing. Each club just raises their part. Hmm, let me think. Ask the president to let the student council do a donation drive. School newspaper? Why don't you make some special prints run? Da. But I can do that. The newspaper club agrees before exiting. Newspaper club. She is about all about the information gathering and information protection, state security. Well, I, I ask more about state security, but she's still about state security because I mean I couldn't even talk to her over the phone line to ask her on a date. Light music club. You can all hold the concert. <clears throat> hi hi. We can proud BP Sapphire Light Music Club. All echoes before leaving the room. Ooh, ooh, what can the occult studies club do? Oh, the occult studies, Germans. Yeah, gotcha. Um, do I don't know. There's no no spooky stuff this time, please. All right, come on, team. Let's go to the ritual card. Completely forgetting the point of what she was not supposed to be doing, the German tank shuffle all out the room. Wait, I just said. 
someone make sure they don't try to kill. Don't try to kill anything. <laughs> Ew, you've got the tank team. I remember to forget. No fair, we're helping too. Fine, fine, just go make yourself useful. On it, she shouts as the tank team all runs out the room. So, what do I do? <clears throat> oh, Ruben. That's right, I almost forgot you were here. Thanks. She's so thoughtful, these Chinese people. Why don't you try and help out some of those clubs this week? I'm sure they can, can use it. Yeah, sure, I'll see what I can do. Hmm. A few hours later. I should probably help out one of the clubs before I go home. T-34 is probably swapped with the newspaper, but kind of knows that what Sherman has kind of does too. Who do I help first? Newspaper Club. <clears throat> I guess I should see how things are, the newspaper are coming along. I'm sure it can't have gone too badly yet. I mean, at least they have T-34. She's usually pretty level-headed. Which is why I wanted to get with her. And why I was stupid to say, wow, you're hot. Uh... See what's going on. We enter the school newspaper club room and immediately are hit by the droning sound of printing presses chugging away. All, all throughout the room, tanks are running every which way, and near the window, T34 is standing next to a taller girl who's pacing back and forth rapidly. Comrade Commissar, the numbers are back for last month's circulation. I ask you what to do. Ah, how do they look? Unfortunately, they're down again. Blat! The Pullet Bureau will have our heads for this! Psycho. Well, how many? Give me the numbers. In total, we distributed three copies. That's bad. That's including one for the teacher's lounge, one for the reading room. Comrade, that's what my could have. <laughs> All save everyone the trouble. Uh, she's no nonsense. Uh, very no nonsense. I'm gonna leave it right there, and that's a little clip. Maybe that's a mini cliffhanger to say what happens next to the newspaper club. Do we get all play Russian roulette, or is it just gonna be straight flushed? Catch you next time. Dosvidanya.